Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Let me thank you for coming in at uh, such a short notice. I appreciate your, your presence here. Attention has been drawn, my attention has been drawn to an article which was put online by Nation Media purporting to have said that uh, I issued a statement at the village level talking about the former president Sharif and the involvement in the episode that took place in that place. Let me candidly put it on record that I have never and will never say such a statement. First of all, if I, if I may refresh your memory, when we went and took a special message from President Kibaki to the new elect president of Somalia, it was on Wednesday, in my entourage, apart from members of parliament, Honorable Kainani, Honorable uh, Kapondi, Honorable uh, Ambassador Fe, Honorable Hassan from uh, Mandela, and other former members of parliament, there were in my entourage KBC, KTN, and Nation TV. And we went to Mogadishu. We delivered a message of goodwill from President Kebaki. And of course, there was a little fracas, which you are all privy to, you know very well. And we came back. At the airport, they interviewed me. I never said a thing about such misleading and obviously uh, a misleading statement intended to create a, an unnecessary lift which doesn't exist between us and the country of Somalia. And I think every time we talk of responsible journalism, uh, this is the most careless reporting I've ever had, I've ever witnessed in my life in the political arena. The clip which was used and the photograph which was used was when we were coming down from the plane in Wilson Airport here. And the statement I'm reported to have said was in Kisi. And if you want to check, check on standard today. That's the attire I was wearing. So compare the two photographs. First of all, to appreciate whether I was in that type of attire <laughs> to Mogadishu or I was in the attire which is very clearly shown where I was speaking in, uh, in, in Kisi uh, the, in my home in the village. So let me put it on record again that Kenya did not take sides with any of the people who are contending for the elections in Somalia. Indeed, the message of His Excellency the President uh, was very categorical during the Edifitu message in wishing the people of Somalia to be able to continue completing the roadmap that they had gone about, about to finish. And we were very delighted that they had elected the speaker. They were also able to elect the president. Uh, and therefore, the next day I was dispatched to give that message of goodwill. Kenya was able to work with the former president very well, President Sharif. It was Kenya when President Sharif came here who actually went to United Nations to plead for an extension of one year transition. The TFG government, uh, the TFG army was also supported by the Kenyan side to be able to help them achieve the the desired goal. 
President Sharif himself was a target of Al Shabaab. And the Al Shabaab have claimed responsibility of what they were doing at that time. So I want to assure the former president and the present president that Kenya stands shoulder to shoulder with them. We have no any ulterior motive. Otherwise, we just want them to be on the roadmap to peace and to be able to be sustainable in their activities and what they are doing because peace with our neighbors is peace for Kenya. Progress for our neighbor is progress for Kenya. And if anybody thinks he can divert us to very trivial issues, and more so when they are never said, even if they were trivial, they were never said, I think is trying to hijack the bigger picture for the Somalia people to live in peace and harmony with their neighbors. And the former president, even if he came to, to Kenya today, will be accorded the same facilities, the same uh, respect, like all other former heads of states are accorded in this country. He has gone through a very difficult moment. And in fact, we gave him credit for having accepted defeat. It's not easy for an incumbent to accept defeat. So when we went there uh, with the delegation, with the letter, after the episode, like somebody, the immediate head of state, he was concerned of what had happened. And therefore he came to console the former president and ourselves. How then do we turn around somebody who has come to ensure that you are okay, you are safe, and then you want to blame him? I think this is a totally misplaced uh, reporting and, 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 and I'm sorry to say so and, and please let us not do things that uh, will injure the message in fact indeed if I remember in my own statement in parliament apart from the former president that I, the president had issued I did say when I said in parliament I conclude my remarks by assuring the people of Somalia that Kenya looks forward to working with the new parliament of Somalia as well as whoever will be elected as president. We have no preference for any of the candidates and it's up to the people of Somalia through their new parliament to elect their leadership. This was a week before I went to Somalia. And uh, it's very strange that somebody probably not understanding the magnanimity of what international relations are all about can be trigger happy with that kind of statement. We have no negative agenda to anybody as a country. It's Kenya which is at the forefront. And when we went there, we were the first delegation, the first country to send a message of goodwill from the president of Kenya because we want to wish the Somalia people peace, security, and success. We've worked well with the President Sharif when he was in power. We have no reason to doubt him. He has shown magnanimity in accepting defeat and we have every will to thank him in every way to thank him for showing that magnanimity we cannot there, therefore turn around and then start talking negatively about him and uh, those of you who know me very well it's not my nature to talk about individuals and for that matter, I will have no evidence, no information to talk about a former head of state. This is, whereas we all welcome the reporting, but I think sometimes we go overboard and create 
a mountain out of a situation which never existed. Uh, and therefore, let me take the earliest opportunity to assure both the former president, President Sharif, that we have no ill feelings against him whatsoever. And we have no allegations of any nature, of any type about him. If anything else, we congratulate him for having accepted defeat and handed over respectively to the new president. And he is welcome to come to Kenya anytime we will get the treatment of any other, like any other former head of state. And we have no difficulty with him. Thank you. What exactly did you talk talk about in relation to maybe the incident in Somalia for it to be blown out of context? And secondly, why do you think the writer would want to pick on you in such a manner? And thirdly, what action do you intend to take on the nation media? The last one, I've already spoken to the managing director of uh, Nation, uh, nation uh, Group. I told him I'm having a press conference here today. And uh, I mentioned my displeasure for this kind of reporting and any responsible journalism where an issue affects another country it would have been a normal thing to ring me up to verify my information whether the statement they are just about to put online I said it or not so that opportunity was never accorded number two even up to today, it's me who rang them. I know them who rang me. So you have to separate the party politics, the local party politics, from international activities. They are not in the same pot. These are two different. Yes, indeed, I was in Kisi. I was in my house. I was not in a public rally. And the people who had come to my house are people of goodwill, uh, church members who came to, to pay uh, re respect and say sorry for what was just about to happen to you. And there was nothing like an arranged rally telling the public what happened. Now, it, journalists came like any other people and I expected them to have said sorry. And by the way, they was not the only one. They were the standard <coughs> group was there, AGSA was there, KBC was there, even your NTV was there itself. Check the clip, the way I spoke. I never uttered any of those words. So what else can it be? One individual decides to write a story which is totally disjointed from the main feature, even on clip of MTV itself, and then parades me as having said it. At my age, at my experience, it's highly inconceivable that I would just wake up and <laughs> yes. So that's the bit of it. Yes, I was in Kisi. People came. These are church members who came praying, saying, "We wish you well." from Somali National TV. Uh, the trip to Mogadishu after two days, there was an immigration ceremony for the new president. And there, were, and there was no immigration from Kenya government. So is there a side of security? Of no, 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 no. <laughs> because we were there the first. Mm -hmm. And uh, we delivered the message we would have delivered during the inauguration. Uh, I, I think, it, it, it's, don't read much into it. Uh, Somalia is... Uh, a very close friend of Kenya. I want you to know that. And uh, many Somali people are staying in Kenya and what we want them to be is to attain a very solid nationhood. And once they, are there, they have established themselves, then they can live together. Yes, let's not dilate these questions too far. Mohammed from BBC. Mm. Uh, since that incident, since the report came out of President, did you get a chance to speak with the former president? 
No, I've not spoken to him because he came there and uh, he expressed his uh, solidarity with us. And, and, and I didn't see any reason why I would want to speak to him. Because uh, this issue, I only learned about it late last night, that there is uh, such a story online. And uh, the first thing I needed to do is to talk to the, to the, to the, to the nation me media group, first of all, to verify. And I downloaded the, the information which went online to see what he was talking about. And, uh, and, 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 and the President Sharif is somebody I met several times on many occasions. And uh, we've had very serious, deep discussions on how Somalia should go forward. Uh, and therefore, the acceptance of defeat by him to us as Kenya was a magnanimous, a very magnanimous action on his part. Because normally, many people who have been in power do not relinquish power. So we, we, in fact, I want to say without any shadow of doubt that we congratulate him for ensuring that the roadmap towards achieving a sustainable Somalia is on course. When history is written, is one such head of state who will be quoted favorably for creating this type of history. And we want to encourage him to be part of this history. 